Hello, RPG Don here. Welcome back to another plugin made by Yanfly. Today's plugin will be the Element Reflect plugin. First, we will go to this site, Plugins, scroll down to the bottom, right click Element Reflect, save link as, and save it to your computer. Then go to your software, Games, Open Folder, JS, Plugins, and move your plugin here. Once that's done, we'll go to our plugin manager, double click a row, Add our plugin, click OK, and apply. Now we'll go to our database cogwheel, and under either actors, classes, enemies, weapons, armor, or states, we will add in a specific note tag. For this tutorial, I'll use actors. Under our notes, we'll add in this note tag. The X represents the row of the element under your types. Going to types, elements, I'll be using fire, so my number should be 2. Back to my actors, I'll change my x to 2. The y represents the added percent to reflect the element you specify. I will change it to 100 for this tutorial. Click apply and OK. Now I can test my game. Always remember to save your changes before testing. I have set the bats to only use fire. I will guard the bats attack and the plugin reflects back the damage. Something else we can do is lower the chance that an element will be reflected. Back to my database cogwheel, under actors, I've given Marsha the cane weapon. I will go to my weapons, add our note tag, but change the plus to a minus. I'll change my Y to 100 as well, and my X to number 2, our fire. Doing this, I could make a powerful weapon that has a downside for less chance to reflect. Since our minus is 100, all fire attacks should now hit Marsha. I'll apply and OK, and test our game. I'll once again guard, and we can see that our negative note tag allows her to be hit by fire once again. That's it for this plugin. Please like and subscribe to show your support. Gain access to our private Facebook page by supporting us on Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.